tonight on Prime News. Doubt has been cast over the footprints found by the body of murdered fielding farmer Scott Guy. The Crown claim murder accused Ewan MacDonald wore a pair of pro-line dive boots when he allegedly shot dead his brother-in-law. But a forensic scientist says there were no full footprints of the boots left at the scene. The boot prints left at the scene has been the focus of evidence for days. Analysis found the prints were made by a boot that was well worn and probably a size 9. However, the defence says the number of wave patterns doesn't match up. What possible basis have you got for speculating that Proline had a size 9 boot with 32 rows of waves in it? Because I have not seen every Proline boot ever, manufactured. ever been manufactured at size 9. But of every single Proline boot you have seen, could that proline boot that's been produced as an exhibit size 9 have made an impression leaving 32 to 33 rows of waves in the forefoot area? No, it could not. Defence lawyer Greg King presented incompressions of McDonald's feet, suggesting they could have fit into a snug size 7. All you can say if you look at this is whether the foot fits within the boundary of the cast. It's not saying whether the foot is within the shoe or... Um, whether the foot fits the shoe. Anna McDonald told the court just days before her brother's murder, her parents returned from a farming conference full of ideas, including the possibility Scott Guy or Ewan McDonald could manage another farm. Worried they'd have to move, she spoke to her mother, who told her that no changes would be made without consultation. Yvette McCullough, Sky News.